Happy Saturday morning, everyone. This is uh, Eric coming from Kansas again. So, uh, meeting back at my mom's house, <clears throat> and uh, that, this is uh, where I installed the backup uh, battery backup power system um, from uh, a few months ago. Actually, I think last year sometime, um, <clears throat> and uh, didn't get this transfer switch. I hadn't. Hadn't this, didn't get this transfer switch yet uh, at the time of the install, so I just uh, put a box where this transfer switch is at. I just put this box in place of it, uh, so I just have a place to um, run wires to and, and have the right length of conduit and everything when I did get it. So got it now. I got it installed uh, back during um, Christmas break, uh, 2021. So a couple months ago, and uh, I forgot to get a video of it, so I'm doing it now. So this is the Reliance Controls 60 amp manual transfer switch box. Um, <clears throat> you can get it from multiple places. I, I got it from Northern Tool. They were the ones I had in stock at the time last year. Anyway, it's uh, <clears throat> two 240 volt breakers, 120 volt. Uh, dual breaker and um, it's got a physical connection here as I showed in in the previous video where I uh, went over the review of this uh, just a, a box opening if you will and uh, showed you how that how, how all that works so got installed here for a mom system and um, wanted to show you it installed so we've got uh, <clears throat> power supply from the grid coming in this conduit up to the box and then we've got <clears throat> the power going out to the inverter charger down and downstairs through this conduit downstairs and this third conduit is the generator hookup coming into this box so this breaker right here is a as you can see generator supply Little focus. There we go. And this one over here is utility supply. So got this one on right now. Says we have grid power, and this one's off. And you can't turn yet. It's a make then or it's a break then make uh, connection because this uh, doodad won't allow you to turn them on at the same time, which is good. What's there for? Okay, so that's what it looks like uh, all installed. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take the panel off here and just show you some of the wiring inside real quick and then I'll uh, go out on the side of the house and show you this uh, generator hookup that I've got um, uh, as well. So hang tight. Okay we're back. So this is the inside of the box. As you can see there's lots and lots of nice space to just run wires and you don't have to necessarily cut the wires to length to the exact length you need. You can just Keep the extra in here and, and just loop it around like, like that uh, hot wire back there and some other ground wires in there. So I, I, didn't, I don't think I cut any wires at all in here. I just um, went with what I had and um, left it all in here as it is, uh, looped up if I need to. But uh, what I did here is, is <clears throat> so I'm, I'm using this, I'm only using one pole of this, uh, these breakers. So I've only got one hot coming into this breaker. It's, and this, this box is kind of weird because the, in your normal breaker box in your house, power supply comes out of the breaker and goes to your appliance or lights or whatever. With this thing, the power supply comes into the breaker on, on these uh, lugs here on the side instead of out. So this is the utility supply coming into the box here. And I'm, I'm only using 120 volt. It's coming from this, this breaker right here, this 30 amp breaker. Now I don't know if it, I, this probably isn't quite kosher with uh, code exactly, but um, I'm not really using the, this breaker uh, as a, uh, for its amp rating. I'm just using it really just for a switch. That's all I'm using it for. 
because I've got this breaker that, that blows at uh, 30 amps and I've also got the inverter charger downstairs that this uh, supply goes to after it goes through this box also has a 30 amp uh, uh, circuit breaker on it. So I've got kind of some double protection there. I'm just using this as a switch. That's all I'm using it for. So <clears throat> power supply comes into here and then it comes out through these these two lugs here. You, you, you'd use both these lugs if you were using 240 volt supply. I'm only using one side, so I just need it for 120. So it comes out through here, runs down here, and goes to the inverter charger downstairs. <clears throat> so that's how it's set up. And then the rest of this utility supply, the, uh, the other uh, pull of that, it's a, it's a 10, 10 3 wire, so it's, it's made for 240 volt service, but I've just got the other side of it uh, uh, just wiring it off up here, not doing anything. Uh, the ground is going in here, and the neutral wire from that is going over here to this bar. So it, this box does have a separate neutral and ground wire, which I, I did use, but in reality, it's not really doing. Uh, it's not doing any extra there because this breaker box is old enough where it just has a, a common neutral and ground wire. This house was built in 1984, I believe. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Yes, yeah, so that's ground and neutral and the hot. And then so we've got the, uh, to the inverter charger, we've got the hot coming here in the middle going out to the inverter charger, then the ground and neutral are the same bars. And then the other uh, part of it is the generator power supply. Coming from down here, which I'll show you outside later. Comes in here to this conduit. And uh, the hot for that comes in, in this on this switch, which is turned off right now. And then it, when this is turned on and this is turned off, it will flow through this to the inverter charger also. So that hot is in here, and then obviously the ground is over here and the neutral is over here. So that's how I have it wired up. Lots of nice room to play with, as I said. Uh, really easy to, to put together. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of fun to work on in that regard. <clears throat> so now we're going to go out. I'm going to button this back up and we're going to go out and um, check out the generator hookup. All right, got this all buttoned up. And before we go out there and see that, I did want to mention that I will be putting a, a link in the description to the unboxing video of this. Uh, so you can see that for reference for e easy access. And then I'll also be putting a link in the description for the install of the rest of this backup power system as well. Uh, just so you can see that as well. So let's go out and check out the generator hookup. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, I was watching a nice uh, big fat squirrel come up this tree. Jumped onto our roof. Anyway. Uh, so this is the generator hookup. It's not something you would necessarily buy on the internet. It's something I kind of made myself because this um, <clears throat> hookup right here, this plug, this it's an L530. It's a 30 amp, 125 volt rated plug. An L5-30P, I believe, is for the you know for the male type of the plug or the male end of the plug. I think the I can't remember what the other one is, that one that's female, but anyway, L530. So, <clears throat> this white plug right here was attached to the gener generator transfer switch box that's inside the house next to the breaker box. And I pulled it out of that box and used it for this because I don't want to have to, I don't want to have my mom have to run a cord all the way inside of the garage uh, for a generator. Uh, it'd be nice to just put the generator right here and hook it up right here and let her rip. So I bought this little four by four by four inch deep box at Home Depot. Um, and 
I still need to do some caulking around here to get it sealed up. I forgot to print that actually this time. But uh, so I bought this box. I already had the plug. I had all the wiring. And the next piece I had to find was these this uh, this rubber cap here. And I had a quite a difficult time finding these. It's I so we're in a mode these days of not buying things from Amazon. Uh, be just because of uh, our beliefs, our convictions. So it made it a little harder to find, but uh, I, I found this from a, a journeyman, I think it's a journeyman supply store or something like that um, online. Uh, they had like a pack of five of them or something like that for pretty cheap. Uh, but I know pe people are, people make, make their own plugs. I'd seen them on eBay making their own plugs and selling them on eBay, and I so I knew some, they were getting them from somewhere. So I kind of found a place. And anyway, it took a little while, but anyway, if you don't want to buy stuff from Amazon, it's not hard. You just got to look for it online. Uh, got to do a search, maybe not on Google, maybe on uh, DuckDuckGo. But uh, anyway, has th has uh, three screws with it. Uh, this this uh, rubber uh, weather plug came with three screws and just screws right into this plug it's made for it so pretty nice so that's all it is uh, just put it together wire it up and uh will make it pretty easy to uh plug in generator and that generator the generator transfer switch box as i showed you in a previous video also i'll probably put a link in that in the description as well for that um <clears throat> it came with a big long i think maybe 10 foot uh, 30 amp rated 120 volt cord that plugs right into here and the other end is a is a like a three prong triangle type um, RV 30 amp 120 volt hookup so um, which most gen generators have that that uh, are of any size they have both the 30 amp 120 volt and the 50 amp 240 volt if you have a big enough generator so that's what that looks like um, pretty simple to uh, install just Drill some holes in the side of the house and um, was careful with the measurements and made sure I was measuring the right spot. I, I used this conduit entrance that's for the irrigation system here at this house as a reference point, both on the inside and the outside of the house and uh, found, found my holes and uh, voila. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the video. Hope you uh, enjoyed that. If you have any questions or comments or um, anything else you think I missed or you want to see, let me know. But um, look for those links in the description for some extra info on this. And um, we will talk to you later. Grace and peace be with you. Bye for now.